In this video, we're going to show you a super easy way to use your favorite LUTs to edit your photos in Lightroom. This is perfect for filmmakers who want their photography to better match the look of their video or for anyone who has a set of LUTs that they want to apply to their photos. Another cool trick we'll show you is how you can essentially adjust the intensity of any Lightroom preset using profiles. Let's get started. In order to use LUTs with Lightroom or use the intensity slider with any Lightroom preset, you'll need Lightroom 7.3 or later. Today, we'll be working in Lightroom 8.1. To start, let's open a RAW file in Photoshop. Next, let's click the Presets tab. We'll then hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and click the icon to create a new preset. We can then deselect any checked items and check the box for a color lookup table. It'll then ask us to select which LUT we'd like to use. In this example, we'll just use one of our favorite LUTs by our friends from White and Reverie. We'll leave the values here at their default numbers, but the minimum value is how much of our LUT will be used when the slider is at its lowest point. The amount value will determine how much of the LUT to utilize at 100%, and the maximum is how much more of the LUT we can add when we turn it past 100%. We'll then name this new profile Tamber 04 and click OK. If you have Lightroom open, go ahead and close it out and reopen it. Let's select a photo and then head into the Develop module. Then let's click on the icon for the Profile browser. We can now see our LUT profile has been created and automatically added into Lightroom. We can apply it. And now we have the option to crank it up for additional intensity. Or lower it for a more subtle look. Since it is a profile, you can use it in conjunction with any of your presets in Lightroom to customize the look. Just make sure you apply the Lightroom preset first and then change the camera profile. Not bad. A sneaky thing we figured out how to do is turning presets into camera profiles so that we can then play with the intensity of a preset or even combine it with a different one altogether. So let's take a look at the process for turning a Lightroom preset into a camera profile. It's pretty similar and just takes a second. Back in Photoshop, in the Presets tab of Camera Raw, just select the preset you want to turn into a camera profile. Once again, just Option or Alt click on the new preset icon. Name your profile. Make sure all your image settings are checked and that the tone map strength is set to low. Then click OK. Restart Lightroom and you'll see the new profile has been added. Now you can adjust the intensity of the preset with the slider. Once you get a collection of LUTs and presets turned into profiles, you can really have some fun playing around with stacking a profile onto a preset to get some really unique looks. If you get a combination that you like, you can save it as a new preset. Just make sure the treatment and profile box is checked. Boom, roasted. We hope you found this method for using LUTs in Lightroom helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when we post a new video. And we'll see you next time. Gucci.